let's go. I feel like the king of my city, Tony Montana. Whole lot of bands, I gotta spend. I might go cut me a mansion. I feel like the king of my city, Tony Montana. I'm feeling godly, they wanna stop me, they tryna hold me for ransom. Now if I said it, I mean it. Hey guys, welcome back to Nonstop Soccer. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you passing drills that you should be doing on your own or with a partner. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over three wall passing drills that you can do by yourself and three partner drills that you can do obviously with a training partner. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below, like the video if you enjoy the content, and be sure to hit up the comment section down below if you have any questions or suggestions about future videos. Also, if you haven't already, check out our website where we dropped an individual training program that has over 50 drills that you can do on your own while you're at the field or even at home. Also, be sure to check us out on Instagram at nonstop.soccer where we post daily soccer and workout videos. All right, guys, let's get into this passing video. So, we should all know the basics of wall passing when training on your own. You cannot neglect the importance of good one and two touch passing with the wall. You don't even need any cones. Just focus on keeping the ball on the ground and increasing your speed of play. Make sure you do one touch passing with both feet two touch passing using one foot at a time, then two touch passing touching it to your opposite foot and playing the pass, and two touch passing using the outsides of your feet so that you can get comfortable with the ball. Don't forget to train these basic exercises. All right, moving into the first drill. All you will need is two markers or cones. As you can see, I am working on my back foot touch going side to side, using my left foot going one way and then using my right foot going the other way. This is such an important touch to get yourself moving into open space and opening your body up to see the field. The next drill, you will need one more marker. So now we have a total of three here and all you are doing is playing the wall and touching the ball with the inside of your foot to your opposite foot to play the pass. Here in this drill, you are moving forwards and backwards throughout the drill. So you have to be aware of where the markers are at, the weight of your pass, and also the weight of your touch. In the game, you will be moving in all directions to open up space for yourself to receive the ball. The final wall passing drill will help you improve your turning and dribbling into space. Here, you just need two markers. You will play the wall and turn using the inside of your foot that you played the ball with, and then you will dribble around the cone and then cut through the cones to then work on your opposite foot while turning. This is a very common turn in soccer. You can also work on different variations of turns here, like the Cruyff turn, which is a very quick turn that, if done effectively, should trick the defender and get you dribbling into space. Make sure the ball ends up in your path and doesn't get too far away from you. Then, you can also work on turning with the outside of your feet. This is also a very common turn to roll the defender and to come out dribbling into the space behind you. Keep training these and you will be comfortable with almost all surface areas of your feet while turning. All right, now for the first partner passing drill. We like to start close to each other and then increase distance between us as the training session goes on. Here you only need two cones again and there is a pattern involved. One partner will pass straight and the other partner will pass diagonally through the cones. Then you can switch roles after some passes. This one gets you moving and thinking really quickly while you try to play quality one-touch passes on the ground. <laughs> Is that good or no? I think so. yep. Now it's the same drill, but just increased distance like I said, and now you are taking two touches trying to play as quickly as possible while staying under control. Now we are back to the one touch passing, but now we have an increased distance between us, making it a bit more difficult. The next partner passing drill, you will need five cones, three in a straight line for dribbling and then two cones in front, just about three yards apart. 
This drill is a lot more difficult to perform because there is a specific pattern. We start with one touch in the middle, two touches on the right cone, one touch again in the middle, two touches on the left cone, and then one last touch in the middle. Drop back to the dribbling portion and then dribble through however you want. Then we start again, but this time we start play on the left cone to work on the opposite side. This drill works on so many aspects of the game and will definitely help you master your passing, first touch, and dribbling. Now for the third and final partner passing drill, you will need three cones and you will set them up in an L shape, about six to seven yards apart from each cone. Here you will be working on one twos with your partner, an action that happens all the time throughout the game to beat lines of defenders. You will also be working on good one touch passes and dribbling as quickly as you can around the cone. This one is great for stamina the longer you do the drill. After some time, you can switch roles and go the opposite way from which you have been going. Alright guys, so there you have it. There's the passing drills that you should be doing. We showed you the wall passing drills, three of those variations, and also partner passing drills, three of those variations as well. We do a lot of partner passing drills on our Instagram, so like I said, be sure to follow us on Instagram at nonstop.soccer where we post daily soccer and workout videos. Also, like I said, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can see weekly training videos like this series, uh, the drills that you should be doing. If you have any questions, please hit them up in the comments down below. We'll see you guys next time. I feel like the king of my city, Tony Montana. Whole lot of bands I gotta spend. I might go cut me a mansion. I feel like the king of my city, Tony Montana.